Okay, welcome back to Cool Clubs Podcast. We've touched on drivers and irons. This is our fittest choice section. It's really their, their feeling, their gut feeling on, on the best um, products within categories. We're gonna blend fairways and hybrids together. It's a lot of golf clubs in there. But what you're seeing is manufacturers are almost running those as a family now. They're putting right. fairways and hybrids blending together, trying to run that into the iron. So let's start with the fairway woods. Yep. And, and let's just work down into the hybrids like a bag. Yeah, and we haven't done a lot of robot testing. We have done some robot testing on, on fairwoods and stuff. We haven't started posting that stuff. Hopefully next year we'll we have time to do the fairwoods and hybrids as well. Um, so we don't have a lot of no, actual robot data on this stuff. But you know, obviously, you know what the guys are using in the fittings and what's selling is really it's pretty obvious which are the best uh, ones yep. going so far. Um, and there are some distinct categories nowadays. You often see three lines yeah. of families within the within the set. You'll have some sort of high launch. Then you'll have you know the intermediate, and then there's the tour model. Yep. So we did the same thing. We got game improvement players and tour. Right. Game improvement fairway wood. My gut feeling would have been this one, and it is Me the too. winner. Absolutely, sixty-one percent of the vote. Yeah, G four thirty max. Yeah, I would definitely. That's the one I recommend to anybody. You know. Yeah, you don't have to think about it. Right? Don't know what they want to get. It can't go wrong. You've got the shallow face. You've got. I mean, great sounding this year. They really made some improvement from G four twenty five. Loads of loft adjustability. You've got lie adjustability in there too, and you've yep. got a huge family. I think it goes down to the nine wood in there as well. So it's. I, I think different the most. They go standard and flat. Yes. Versus standard and upright. Yep. So there's a lot of shorter people and stuff that need flat, especially better players. Uh, and that's nice. And you've also got that guy um, or girl that, that you know that's swinging it, and, and they swing the fairway woods flat, and they're kind of picking it off the surface. That flat line angle seems to help them just clip right. it off the top of the surface more, and less of that over the top move. And it's really distinguishing between whether they're going to be a fairway wood player or a hybrid player. And that flat right. line angle opens that category yeah. up. You, you tend to go the steeper guys. You tend to do better with hybrids. Hybrids, for the most part. right? Taller uh, faces. And guys that sweep the ball off the ground, obviously, fairway woods work 100%. better. So uh, you know, obviously, you can still have a mix of that, but yeah, um, that's in generality. How it works. Let's touch on second place there because there were two great fairway woods as yep. well. Still, still too standard, and yep, then still the too standard. paradigm. And the paradigm, both very good. Um, still too standard was by far our number one selling fairway wood. Yep. Um, and obviously the paradigm's great too. Shallow head, both of those things yep. again. Um, Taylor made a bit notable in, in fairway woods and it's going to show up yep. in this next category. This is the biggest category. Players, 36 or 37 percent of the vote is the normal stealth, the bonded version. Yeah, well that's that one just kills it. That's, that's what I'm playing. That's the longest fairy wood, I can tell you that, because we do do a little testing on robots, and I want the longest fairy wood that goes. That's yep. out there. Yep. And I'm, like I said, I'm getting shorter. I want to get as close to par five as I can. Yep. Um, and, and it wins in all categories. Plus, it's great looking. It's uh, a awesome yep, fairy wood. And it's been the same thing for, like, I've played there, I tell me, three wood for the last three years, four years, actually. From the white one, even. I was going to say, go they've gotten better and better as yep. they go. And the big difference between the last year's, which is still the hottest one, and this year's version, it just sounds so much better. Yeah. And that adjustable weight that you can slide back and forth, I mean, that's really a game changer. You can, you know, you get somebody around 100 miles an hour or so, it's a five, 600 RPM swing. And that totally changes trajectories and stuff, so it's great to dial in. Yeah. Let's take a second Second place in this player's category is the G430 Max. Again, there's the forgiving one. Yep. <laughs> but it's, it's an all-rounder. Right. Like, you can use that higher speed as long as you can put up with a little bit of spin, right. I think, which is what most of these people need. And they got need. the titanium one, too, which is really... Important. Yeah, the LS thing. That thing. I've got that. Right. I just flipped my G430 yeah. to the LS. I wear headphones with that, though. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a monster. Now let's go into the tour fairway woods. This is the, the one that you're talking about with the big sliding weight in the right. bottom of it. It's 50 gram, uh, 80 gram slug, I think it is in the bottom. It's yeah, it's 80 gram. Massive amount of weight. And it's moving like almost an inch too. So yeah. it's not just the weight; it's how far it's moving. Um, so it really changes it. And I think a lot of this, um, I don't mean this was just on the vote, but in sales, this opens up the category for that guy that has the fairway wood that goes too long. You drop them back to the five wood, open the yep. face, turn it to a four wood, just throw the those. weight back, add a bit more spin to it, really pull it back because. Guys are hitting fairway woods as far as they are drivers when they've got good speed now. Oh, yeah. So it's, yeah. A, it's a great one for uh, adjustability. And the same as the second place, TSR3. Yeah, same thing. A uh, really good driver. It's it's considerably shorter because those are the two fairway woods I play around with. Yeah. Um, but it looks great. I mean, workability is, is probably a little better than the titanium, the tit titanium tailor made. Um, and it's a good driver. Really, really good three, or fairway wood, rather. Um, it's just shorter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. But, but huge adjustability, open, closed, upright, flat. The whole, the whole everything. The sleeve, the same as the yep. driver. And it you looks got... great and sounds great. That's the, that's the key. So let's look into the bottom half of the long game and let's go into the f um, hybrids. Right. And the winner of the game improvement hybrid, as expected. Yeah. G430, right? Yep. It's Killed it. Same thing. That, that shallowness, the ability to change the low angle flat on the hybrids too, that right. opens up another category. And they go all the way two down to, I think, 
seven hybrid, 32 degrees now, so it's a lot of yeah, hybrids. Yeah, seven, I've seen seven. I don't yeah. know if they make an eight yet. I'm not sure if there's an eight out there. There are in, in Callaway, uh, off of right, the eight, so nines, out, yeah. I think, of in, in one of the Callaway lines now. It oh was boy. 42 degrees of, of hybrid, which is a lot. It's not a head coverage bag, isn't <laughs> exactly it? Exactly right, That's yeah. A big um, uh, closely followed, which is another hybrid that I love, is TSR1. Yeah. That's interesting, the TSR1. I would have thought of the driver. I wouldn't have thought of that. It's a, it's actually if you go for game improvement. I would have thought G430 and then probably TaylorMade, but or a Callaway maybe in yeah. that thing. But the TSR one's been a great hybrid. It's actually like a little longer on the back, uh, like right. a wider body, blends into that kind of fairway wood look. Again, loads of options of it and super lightweight, which is awesome. Um, let's jump into that players category in the middle. Biggest category, stealth, yeah, stealth, stealth two. two standard bonded a, version. A bunch. Yeah. yeah. Great sounding, um, simple, you know, 19, 22, 25, so just right. good options. Excuse me. <clears throat> and the Stealth Plus actually had a pretty good The use. Stealth 2 Plus is the winner in the in, Tour in hybrid the Tour version. hybred, yeah, yeah. I was surprised by that. That's that's a weird one. I'm, I probably would have put TSR 3, which is how what came second in there, just because there's a little a different sound and maybe a little more forgiving shape. The, the Stealth um, Plus hybrid, although there's lots of adjustability, it's really small. And I yeah. guess that's what you're doing at that end of the yeah, bag. Yeah, that one scares me. Yeah, it's kind of tiny. Yeah. I played it for a little bit, and I actually went to the TSR 3 recently because okay. a little bit bigger body, and I just like that metal-y sound is a bit more, um, whereas the Stealth Hybrid's a carbon -y kind of woody sound, and I think that's a little spooky. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously second place in all of these is Titleist, so Titleist TSI 1, One two, in the game improvement. Three. Yeah. So in perfect order. So it really order. did well. Right, exactly, yeah. in the right order, thank yeah. God. Yeah, that would be... <laughs> I'd have to worry about our fitters at some point, but... Uh, yeah. And that did really well all around. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, we're looking forward to doing a lot more robot testing, a lot more reviewing next year, and hopefully adding a bunch of technology and, uh, and some good commentary from us. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> all right, cheers.